worth it. <laughs> Apparently it's worth it. All right. Well, that was... Uh, <laughs> that was sucker for love. Uh, easy to my favorite so far. All right. Let's go and find another key. Ooh, okay. Here's, here's what looks like a puzzle room. Some kind. What do we have here? Lacerations all over body caused by a large blade. Cause of death, natural causes. Uh, subject to severe head trauma, skull smashed by blunt instrument. Cause of death, natural causes. Asphyxiation, deep marks around necks. Cause of death, natural causes. Okay, so are there like... So I take it I should... Oh. Wait, what? Okay, so you have bleeding eyes. What does that have to do with any of this? You have no body parts. Can I pick those up from down here? Like in this room? Nope. Okay, so maybe I can't do this puzzle yet. Maybe... I gotta do something else first. Let's see what's in here. What is this? Okay, these all have bleeding eyes. What's that? You found a painting scrap. I mean, that's good, right? Don't know what all this other stuff is about, though. Alright, guess I'll get back to that in a another time. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh! Hey! Okay, what else we got around here? Oh, another painting scrap. I'll grab that. Uh, what's this? The Bitter Blade, Volume 2. This volume speaks of Umberth's ascension to rank of knight through prowess and jousting and warfare. It closes with Umberth's confrontation with a terrible demon. In which he slays, which he slays by the grace of God. Interesting, but what does that have to do with me? I'm just like looking for painting scraps and other shit now. Oh, hello. What? Huh? So what are these other creatures then? Huh. There's gotta be like a painting around here that's a hint to that one. Alright, we might need to get back to that later. See, whoa, see what else we have? Oh, actually let's put... Boom, baby. Go up another step. Let's see what we have up here. Oh, hi. Don't you guys look cheerful? Oh, hey. A hint to a puzzle I've already beaten. The voice from heaven demands we kneel, but as long as we have feet, we dance. Well. I mean, there's a very simple solution to that problem, right? If I can find a weapon to chop off your feet with. Oh, hey! Hieronymus Bosch! Gross. Ooh. What's this? Subject 1. Young, healthy, cell death balanced with cell growth. Delusions of consciousness forming. Subject 2. Past 25 years of age. Mitochondrial malfunctions, increase of cell death. The body has begun to die. Subject 3. The brain's neurotransmissions have ceased. The delusions of consciousness are forever lost. So I have to put these together in a certain order. Hold up. Oh. Okay, so... Subject 1. Young, healthy, cell death, balance with cell growth. Delusions of consciousness form. Subject 2 is past 25 years of age. 
but yes, begun to die. How do I like register this one before I move on to the next? Oh, okay. I just needed to start in the right. Okay, that makes sense. I'll just yoink that key and we'll go downstairs and pick a new tape. And I still don't get most of these, so that's going to be interesting to fuck around with later. Um, either way, we have... Whoops. How do I get out of here? Ah, here we go. We have a new tape. Uh, I mean, a new key with which we can get a new tape. So let's go do that. Let us go and... Oh, that leads outside. That's not where I want to go. Now then, what to play next? Let's play... What's this one? The Diving Bell. Isolation takes its toll on even the strongest of wills. Survive the cra... I don't feel like it. Solipsis. Two astronauts search for... Geological features... Beneath the surface of the moon. They find one. Well, we haven't had any sci-fi yet, really. So, sure. Let's play Solipsis. That sounds good. Yoink. And put that fucker in. Where is it? There he is. All right, babies. Time for Solipsis. Solipsis. Apparently, we're going to the moon in this one. This is a very simple uh, title screen. But you know what? I, I kind of like it. I don't know what to expect, as usual. I'm completely blind on these. So, begin. Begin. You know, it's strange that I became an astronaut. It is, considering I'm sitting on my ass on Earth right now. I had nightmares as a kid, being alone on the moon. When I woke up, I would look out the window and find the moon in the sky. You know, to prove I wasn't still on it. On some nights, I would see a face there. Oh! Whoa! Daniel Mullins Games presents. I don't know who you are, Dan Daniel. Daniel? Is that how I'm supposed to say it? Da yeah, yeah, Daniel. Daniel is nonsense. Sorry about that. Once again, not a native English speaker. Solipsis! Here we go. I'm curious. You've got to be curious. Ah! Am I oh! Oh, it's an overhead view. Interesting. Oh. Alright, I'm going. I need to turn my volume up a bit. Because uh, this is very low. Alright, let's continue. I didn't expect an overhead view. That's interesting. I'm usually not a fan of this gameplay style, but... We'll see where it takes me. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm putting this down. Okay. Okay. What exactly are we trying to accomplish here? Just measuring the gravity on the moon? I, I thought that was pretty well known. Not that I know the number, but, you know, or what that number means. Ah, here we go. I'm at the second location. And... Down you go. What does that mean? What what are we trying to find out? What are we what are we measuring exactly? I'm very confused about this. Curious, but confused. It's a very empty game so far, but I'm sure something will happen soon. You're just about there. And down it goes. Well, looking at negative 120 here. 
well, nearly. Are they getting more distorted? Or am I crazy? I think I'm just playing so many horror- I think I've just played so many horror games by now that I always expect things to get distorted at some point. <laughs> alright, alright, let's see what we got up here. What's your reading surface? I don't know, you'll find- oh, oh my god, that is deep. Oh, we're, we're looking for like an underground cave or something? Press R to rationalize. Rationalize what? My constant desire to eat junk food? Ah! H uh, hello, sir. Ration- What am I supposed to be do- Oh my god. This is like deeply unsettling to look at. What am I rationalizing? Ah! The gravimeter. It must be broken. Oh! I need to adjust my orbit. Oh, that was my- Uh oh, something's going wrong. What's happening? Oh, oh dear. Oh no. What just happened? Am I alone on the moon now? Hello? Guys? Anybody? The fuck just happened? Where do I go now? Was oh, so that scream before was actually me like, um, not deciding but making a, a an assumption. That's interesting. That's a fun mechanic. But now I'm just like alone on the moon. I think. What the hell? Hold escape to return to menu. The game has not been saved. Did I fuck up? Like, did I did I end the game? I don't know what to do now. I'm just going in a random direction. Oh. Oh, I can still do this. On random spots. Why? What am I looking for? What am I supposed to be doing? Well, either way, it's getting deeper. Am I looking for it to reach a thousand? Well, a negative thousand? What is this? Whoa, what? Oh, there's something over here. It's like a weird rock formation here. What the fuck? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, one of my rationalizations is communists, apparently. Cthulhu, aliens, and I'm crazy, I'm assuming this means. Oh, only one of them actually fits. What, what does the arrow mean? I wonder. Can I put Cthulhu in here? No, I can't. I have to use the, the right shape. Ah, uh, I thought I got to choose. Alright, communists. Get in there. What the... What? Wait. Wait, how do I... Do I gotta make it like... A sequence? I don't understand what it wants from me right now. Are these... Oh. Did I... Oh, I can knock the arrows off of them. Weird. Weird. What? This game confuses and scares me a little just with its gameplay. That's a good thing. I'm certainly intrigued. That's for fucking sure. 
Is this one of those that you're supposed to play more than once to get various outcomes? Either way, I gotta know what the hell is going on. This is very exciting to me. This game is doing a lot with very, very little. I'm, I'm actually wildly impressed already. But let's see where it goes. I could still end up be being uh, quite disappointed. There's a very good chance we're going to meet an, an elder god living in the moon, considering the Game Jam's theme. <laughs> okay, this is a very long way down. I would like it if something changed soon. Oh! Did I just jinx myself? I do like the timing of that though. Just as I was starting to bitch that nothing is happening, I get a creepy sound. That's neat. Oh, this is starting to look like really worn out. Okay. Sound isn't getting any less creepy the further down I go. I just kind of want to know, as much as I praised the gameplay a minute ago, what is the point of giving me several options for rationalizing if only one of them fits? But I do like the sheer visualization of it, of like thoughts bouncing around in your head. That's really cool. Oh boy! Well. Something tells me I'm not surviving this trip. Like sooner or later I'm gonna run out of oxygen. So. Regardless of what I do and don't find down here. Oh, what's that over there? It is very hard to see and tell where I can go. I don't even know what I'm looking for. What I'm supposed to react to when I walk. Oh, I think I just heard that voice say Cthulhu. Oh, he's- Oh, he's getting real scared now! Jesus, that's a lot of thoughts. Uh, how do I- How do I grab one? No, oh, dude, dude. Half of them are just going crazy. Okay, can't take that one. It's this one. Oh. Okay. Wow, I'm I'm actually like genuinely tense. What am I gonna find down here? Ah, my anticipation is through the goddamn roof. I'm pretty sure I heard that voice over the. Oh, oh. What was that? I mean, I'm pretty sure I heard that voice say something that sounded an awful lot like Cthulhu. Or however you're supposed to pronounce it. Oh, What am I gonna find? What's over here? What is this? Oh, hello. <gasps> what? Oh no, this is a face. Did my brains just explode? <laughs> oh no, we're gonna get Majora's Mask. Was that the whole game? Dude, what? Okay, so... Wow, that was... That was an experience. A really creepy- I loved that.
I, I don't know if there are like more things that can happen if you choose different things. I'm just gonna leave it at that one playthrough. That was really creepy. I love that one. Definitely the scariest one so far. With Again, with very, very little. Just one creepy visual and a long, long build up to that visual. That's awesome. All right, let's go find another key. Oh, 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 oh